Hey, what's up? It's Josh Rossi with another Photoshop Dad tutorial. So in this video, we're going to be covering the pen tool. Now, when I first started off, the pen tool absolutely changed everything for me. And it really is the base to my whole career, which it sounds weird. But um, as soon as I learned about the pen tool, everything changed. I was able to create things that I never thought possible. And so this is absolutely important. I'm going to teach you um, a few little tiny things that will help you, you know, save tons of time as you're cutting things out, as you're compositing, as you're, you know, whatever, cutting out text or whatever you want. So let's get to Photoshop right now. And let me show you a little bit about the pen tool. So this is going to be a quick tutorial. I chose this picture of the mountain because this is not a very easy cutout. So what I mean by that is the background has different shades of color. There's different colors altogether. And you know, there, there's fog over the top of the mountain. So it's, it's a little bit complex of a selection. Now, normally somebody might use the quick selection tool or the magic wand tool. And let me go to the magic wand and show you what this does. So if I click magic wand, it's only going to select like the certain color. See, it's selecting whites, it's selecting that. Now you can also bring the tolerance up to let's say 30 and it's going to select more, but still it's just, it's not going to do it justice. And I can even hold down shift and select here and you can see what this is doing. Now I'm just clicking on these different colors. Yes, this is not a magic wand tutorial. This is about the pen tool, but I just want to show you how much better of a selection the pen tool can do. Okay. Now the pen tool, this is how you use it. Basically you, so click P on the keyboard for the pen tool. Okay. Right here. And you just click in one spot to make a dot, click and hold and drag. So let's click, hold, and drag. See how it's making these curves just like that? Now let's say you have a curve that you like just right there. Now what you do, you can let go and then you hold on Option or Alt and you grab these little handles and bring the handle in the next direction of the curve you want to create. So let's say I want to create another curve way up here. So I'll do, do like that. See how automatically, by me just clicking, it's automatically creating that curve. Now what happens if this is longer? Let me show you here. If I click right here, bam, it's going to create a longer curve. So if you don't want a super long curve, you can just like, if you're doing a straight line, you'd probably want to just keep this as close as possible. Cause see if I click here now, there's barely any curve at all. Okay. All right. So you get the idea, click and drag to make the curves. And then you hold on option or alt and point these handles in the next direction that you're going to go. Okay. So let's actually cut out the mountain right now. I'm going to show you how to do this. So a quick tip to using the pen tool is to cut into whatever you're trying to cut out. So let me show you what I mean by that. So normally people might go right on the line right here. See, they might cut right. Oops. They might cut right on this line just like that. And sometimes you're going to mess up. You're going to see that there's some, there's going to be some white haloing because see that little white spot. So what I do is I will cut into the actual mountain or the object. See how it cut down into that. So I'm losing a little bit, but that's fine. In the end, that's actually going to look better. So watch how I'm doing this. I'm clicking, dragging, clicking. I'm holding option or alt to bring those little handles in the right direction. And sometimes you don't even need to put the handles in the direction. Like for example, look on this one, I'm hitting, I'm not hitting option or alt. I'm just clicking. I'm just clicking. I'm just clicking. See now on this one, I would go option or alt and bring that handle up. And then I'm just going around this. So you, you get the idea. This is basically what you're doing around the whole object right here. So let me go ahead and do this very quickly. And then I'll show you what this one looks like versus the uh, magic wand tool. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is when there is um, a, a sort of like a difficult spot to cut out. Like for example, here you see that there's this fog over the mountain. Um, what I usually do in this case, see how this is the natural line right here of the mountain. You can see because of the shaded area, I will actually cut into that. So when you're using the pen tool, it's all about thinking about what is going to go behind this mountain. Okay. If you're not putting a cloud behind the mountain, you might as well cut into the mountain like this. Okay. So you can actually fake things, fake cutouts by using the pen tool. See how I just sort of cut into that? I cut that whole piece off. Now, 
I'm not going to get that hazy spot. So whatever I put in the background, you know, it can, it can look a lot better. It doesn't have to be like, you know, a cloud or whatever. Now, one other thing too, I picked this mountain for a reason because there's a lot of these jagged edges. Now I'm obviously zoomed in, you know, to what am I at? Three, four hundred percent. Um, but sometimes you'll need, you have a lot of jagged edges and you don't want to like go into detail like this and, you know, cause that just takes forever. So what I'll do is I'll literally just dab the mouse right here and I'm actually on, um, a Wacom tablet. So I'll literally just see how I'm just tapping around like this. Okay. So this, this is great for cutting out rocks because what it's going to do is it's creating sort of like some naturally jagged edges. So then when you get to stuff like this, then you can do, you know, go back to the main curves or whatever and just go right around there. And then when you get to jagged edges, you can sort of go just like that. See, I'm just dabbing, 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 dabbing. dabbing. Now this is more of like a curved edge, but still it's going to give you kind of a cool look. Okay. Something more jagged. Okay. So then this, I see how there's another cloud here. There's actually a pretty solid cutout right there. See, you can you can make out that that's a mountain. So I'm not really going to cut into that. I'm just going to leave that right there. Now this method of dabbing how I'm doing it right here, um, not a lot of people are going to do this because they're like, what the heck is going on? It just looks so sloppy. The only reason I'd be doing this is around rocks. It's just a really good um, way to cut around rocks. Okay, so once you go around your whole image, you want to complete the selection. So just go around the selection. You can hover over right here where it shows a circle. and Everything will turn blue. And you actually don't fully need to do that. You can just click kind of close. And then you go into your selection and right click and go make selection. Now usually I'll um, feather anywhere below one pixel. I won't go above one pixel. For this one, I'll probably go, since it's kind of like a lower, I think it's a lower res image, I'm going to go to like 0.2 and see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm going to go click to make a mask. And let's see what this looks like. So it's looking, it's looking pretty good. So see over here, this is when I use the pen tool just to like make these really round, nice edges. And it looks good, but it doesn't have that jagged quality that a normal rock would have. Now this has the jagged quality because remember I was, I was just dabbing right around. This is sort of that dabbing technique. So specifically around rocks, look at that, just dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. And it doesn't really matter if you mess up um, because it's gonna create those really nice rock formations. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the difference between the magic wand tool and the pen tool here. Let's actually bring in another image to put into the background. This is gonna be our sky. So let's go to first the magic wand tool. So the magic wand tool, it actually did a pretty dang good job with some of these jagged edges, but it was very sharp and that's something you can, you can fix, but it, it tends to do this right here, this like artifacting or something. Y you can see here how there's, it looks like there's these pixels It like pixelates the outsides of the image right there. See, and then sometimes it, it misses certain things. Um, sometimes it makes, edge is a little bit too jagged. So it is a great tool. I use the magic wand tool, but you know, I've really just um, gone back to the pen tool because you can make such a better selection. You can see here how much smoother this looks. See, there's not these like crazy jagged edges, even though it takes a little bit longer, you're going to get such a good selection instead of going back and like trying to figure this out and going select and um, you know, select and mask or whatever else it is. Okay. So that's why I use the pen tool. And that is one tip on how to go around rocks. So thank you guys for watching. Now, if you want the follow along files, if you want to mess around with this, I'll just include the link in the description. So click on that. You'll get the files. You can follow along. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.